I'm disappointed because basically to me they saying that it's okay for police officers to shoot um guys with their hands up. Tonight only on six exclusive video of the moment when an officer from a South Florida Police Department shoots an unarmed man at a busy gas station. Tonight that man is taking the officer and his city to court. This man telling us tonight that he feels that he's not getting any justice. Good evening once again. I'm Juwan Strader and I'm Trina Robinson. First, Michael Gavin says he should have never been shot and on top of it, no charges were filed by the state attorney against that officer. NBC six investigator Willard Shepard obtained the video and has the exclusive details tonight from where all of this unfolded. Willard. That's right, Juwan. This took place here behind me on this Shell gas station right on busy US-1 right here in Coral Gables. This involved a South Miami uh, police officer who stopped Mr. Gavins here behind me. Mr. Gavins says he never should have been shot. He also wanted uh, state prosecutors to charge this officer. That didn't happen. So tonight, now he's suing. In the video, focus on this area we've highlighted. Gavin's and his attorney claim he can be seen with his back to the camera and putting up his right arm and that he was complying with all of the officer's instructions. But the officer shot him anyway. I definitely don't think I should have been shot because the officer who shot Gavin's South Miami patrolman Arroyo Razai. He stopped Gavin's for a traffic violation last year. Gavin's ended up in the hospital where a small amount of marijuana was found in his pants. The drug charge and one for resisting arrest without violence were both dropped. Say I was compliant to the officers. Everything they asked me to do, I did. Today, Gavin's filed a lawsuit against Officer Rezai and South Miami for battery and violating his civil rights. Like I said, disappointed that they have this officer out in the streets and doing these things to people. Miami-Dade police investigators say Officer Rezai told them he observed Gavin's reaching into the front of his waistband, gave Gavin's a verbal command to take his hands out, but with negative results. But Gavin's attorney, Paul Lane, says the video shows that isn't what happened. In the video, you can clearly see that he has his right arm raised. Now, his right arm is raised for several seconds before he's shot and goes down. The police report repeatedly says that he had his hand in his waistband. It actually says he had both of his hands in his waistband and wouldn't remove them. But contrary to that, the video shows he had his right arm up, and that happens to be the same place where he got shot. In. The state attorney concluded, it is clear that Mr. Gavins, both through his own testimony and through the testimony of Officer Pierre, also at the scene, did not comply. At that point, Officer Razi discharged a single shot which hit Mr. Gavins. A reasonable officer could believe that Mr. Gavins was about to retrieve some firearm or weapon. Now, the state attorney, uh, we reached out to them today. They say that uh, they stand by their uh, findings. They'll let them speak for themselves. As far as the uh, city of South Miami, uh, they haven't been served with this lawsuit yet. Not really in any position uh, to speak. We did not hear back from the uh, police union. And tonight, uh, we have uh, posted all of this information on our NBC6 News and Weather app. Also over on our website, you can see the complete findings that were listed here. The uh, attorney, Mr. Lane, says he really believes that the state attorney should have taken action in this case. We're reporting live tonight in Coral Gables, Willard Shepard, NBC6 News. Willard